everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Sarah and this is Like So Amazing. So today I'm just sharing with you a short tutorial on how I use PDF patterns. So I know there are some people that absolutely dread using PDFs. If there's no printed pattern available or if there's no copy shop version, then I've got a really quick and easy method of how I put my PDF patterns together. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you. You only need a couple of items and I swear to you, it will absolutely be game changing for you. If you sit there and cut out the size of PDFs and if you sticky tape them together, then I'm sure this would be a much quicker and easier method for you. So I've got my paper pattern printed out here and I'm using the Tilly and the Buttons Marigold pattern and this is the So My Style pattern for April. So I'm getting started on it now. So the first thing I do is I divide up the rows. So the way you do this is you look for the first number. So the first row is one. So we're gonna look at all of the pieces that say one, So that goes up to 1E. And the next row is 3. And that one goes up to 3E. So I just make neat piles of them. And this will help us later when it comes to putting them all together. So I use a trimmer, this is the Fiskars guillotine trimmer and what's so good about it is you can really see precisely where you're cutting. So there's a very fine wire which is a guideline which is really useful, I don't know if you can see that in there. So firstly what I do with every row that's not the bottom row is I chop off the bottom section and then I chop off the right hand section of each page with the exception of the right hand page, so the very far right hand page, because you don't need to, that's the end of that row. So all I do is I just line up the very bottom with the blade, make sure it's all square and cut it and I'm left with a little piece there to throw away. And I find it much easier to work in batches so I do all of the bottoms of the first row and then I do all of the sides of the first row. And you do need to be quite accurate with your cuts. So then I'll go back in and do the right hand side. So now I've got all of my first row together, I'll just put those aside and I'll carry on doing the rest. But for these purposes, I'm gonna show you how I now attach them together. So what I use to attach my PDFs together is this Yoohoo glue. I find it to be much better than anything like Pritt Stick, which I find just really drags on the page. This has got some slip and it allows you a little bit of play time. And it also will come out in different thicknesses according to how you twist it. So I think this is a really, really great product. So I've just got a piece of paper down just to protect my cutting mat. And I'll take the first piece and I'm just gonna line up this first edge. So the glue looks like this and you just give it a slight squeeze. And then 
you just line up the matching points. And just try and be as accurate as you can because obviously it's going to affect the overall sizing so you just let that dry for a second So I'm going to go ahead and carry on with the rest and then I'll show you the next stage. Once you've got all the rows glued in place then you can just leave it to dry for about five or ten minutes and then you can start collating all of the rows together so the next stage is to join this, these two rows together so i'm just picking the bottom two rows here where it says 10a you're going to join that to 10a 10b 10b etc so all i do is just do a couple of tiles at a time just again stick some glue along the top and then match all the points. And I find that if you just do a couple at a time, it makes it more manageable. So you can cut as you go if it's easier. So I can see here that this is one piece, this is one piece. So all of these can be cut out separately so that the paper's not getting longer and longer and more unwieldy. It's completely up to you. You don't have to cut around the whole pattern piece. You can cut around all the sizes and then trace if you prefer. With PDF patterns, I tend not to trace them just because it's quite quick and easy to put them back together again. Obviously it helps to have a big table like this, but it's quite easy to just lay these out on the floor and do it that way as well. So I hope you found that useful. I'll list the products below where I bought them from. So that's the glue and the Fiskars guillotine. Let me know if you have any tips and tricks when it comes to PDF patterns and, um, it, and I can share them with everyone else. Don't forget to like the video if you did and you can subscribe for more sewing related goodness including lots more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks so much, bye bye.